Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Un unnamed here. <laughs> Sorry. Word flubs, gotta love them. Today I've got something really special for you guys. The UNI Shipyard. Mobile Shipyard, actually. And this thing, it's pretty massive. It has its own incredibly large factory. Four jump drives to get it to where it needs to go. Two hangars. And large enough to fit even my largest ships. I mean, in comparison, let's fly out here and get a good look at it. This thing dwarfs my headquarters station by quite a bit. I mean, all of my uh, main resources and all that are tied up in here. And then there's this, which if I expanded it outward a little bit, it could be its own city in its own regard. I mean, it's so massive that I could take two of my larger exploration vessels and fit them inside this thing side by side. It is that big. I mean, just for size comparison, I mean, yeah. <laughs> this was a lot of fun to make, honestly. Uh, it's got two side hangers with uh, large battery banks. I think 64 batteries in total on top of uh, all the other stuff in here. It's got cockpits for the engineers to kind of recharge and resupply their oxygen. It's going to have two of these little shuttles here for repair and maintenance. And this is just the outside of it. Heading inside, let's go ahead and take a look. Now the only entrance so far is in the bridge. And it's a fairly spacious bridge. More gyroscopes on the inside here because, you know, I needed to put them somewhere. I couldn't have them all on the outside. Yeah, control panels and all that for uh, various features that I'll be adding later on bit by bit. Yeah, really great stuff. Heading through here, we have the crew quarters a little bit sparse right now. Fully furnished restrooms. Because, you know, the crew needs that. A galley, coffee machine. And heading back here, we have the uh, interior factory. Everything's fully upgraded. There's a large cargo container back here, along with two more on the outside and two more inside the uh, hangars themselves cargo container for crew storage and a single battery back here just you know for the hell of it so let's head back outside and I'll show you a couple of more little features now this thing has four jump drives which Without a heavy load, we'll propel this thing quite a ways. I haven't exactly checked to see how far exactly, but needless to say, it's pretty far. Plenty of Gatling turrets for defense. It is all light armor, so some defenses are absolutely necessary. Now, stopping off at the hangar here. Nice little... Uh, rampway to get on and off the ship. Like I said, it's got a cockpit to the side here so you can refuel your oxygen and your energy. And a little way under here to repair the bottom of the ship, like you can see way over there docked, so that uh, in case anything gets damaged, you can park it in here and fix it up. It also serves 
to uh, help repair smaller fighters and things. I could probably add another larger hangar like over here and on this side as well. I'll probably do that a little bit later. As you can see, everything's kind of piped up. And here we have kind of a waiting area for uh, crew members of other ships that are docked here. They get to look out and have a really nice view of uh, the planet below them and their ship in the dry dock. Really great stuff. And these spotlights, I'm actually surprised at how far these things cast light. Like, I don't have any lighting issues at all. A little coffee machine, a little TV and couch for them to kind of chill out. Beds for them to catch some Z's, a shower. I haven't quite put a bathroom in here yet, but I probably will a little later. And yeah, gravity for this place is pretty good. Gravity itself stops pretty much here. So about one block before I actually get to the bottom. Which I may just uh, cut this bottom portion out and then bridge it across here. That way people down here can just walk around as they please. I don't know. Yeah, there's plenty of space along here to um, add on living quarters and different hangars and all sorts of different things. This could serve as one of the most important ships in the entire fleet that I have built thus far. I mean, it's pretty much a capital ship in its own right. It's not very tough. It's got a lot of structural integrity, you know, if you blow off, like, this entire section right here, if you miss, you know, a few blocks over here, if you don't get that side over there, it doesn't matter because this thing's still going to hold together. This thing is built really, really tough in spite of it only being light armor. And building it actually wasn't that tough. I started with this little ring section here copied pasted used merge blocks to stick it together copy pasted merge blocks and uh, that's just the top part the bottom part you see this uh, two block section here you know all this up here was just the frame copied flipped it rotated 180 degrees, stuck a couple merge blocks on here, sandwiched them together, and boom. Then I built everything up here, built the hangar, built the little crew quarters, and just started piping everything up, sticking on solar panels. Expanded this factory out here. We've got see, six hydrogen tanks which will be able to refuel and resupply pretty much any of the ships in my fleet which usually only have a maximum of two hydrogen tanks. I'm probably going to start building things with larger hydrogen tanks because I want to start dropping things off on the planet and they're going to need hydrogen to get on and off. And since, well, I don't know, maybe. Ice is pretty plentiful down there, so I'm not really too worried about that. But yeah, this is by far one of the largest builds I have ever produced and I'm actually pretty damn proud of it like I said all of my ships even the largest ships can pretty easily fit inside this thing with room to spare let me show you real quick let's start with the anvil why not it's a fairly large ship Kind of awkwardly shaped. And like this. Well, even even so, like this. 
It can just barely fit inside. Let me get a good angle. Yeah. It's got plenty of room to fit in there. It's a bit of a tight fit, but if I decide to fly it in sideways like so, look at that. I could even paste it in here. And I've got room to spare on the top and bottom and sides. What about... Yeah, here we go. My Artemis battleship. Now, no way that thing will fit, right? Well, let's just paste it in here. Flip it, rotate it. And, well... Yeah, it's actually got room on the sides, top and bottom, to fit in here. And this is one of the largest ships I have. What about, let's see, the Bastion. That's a fairly large ship, not as big as the Artemis. Let's get it situated properly. And, ooh, I could even paste that in here. It's not even that tight of a fit. Let's see. Ah, my cruise ship, the humpback. Will that fit in here? Well. Looks like, yes. Even my cruise ship will fit in here with room to spare. So that just goes to show just the sheer size of this thing. Where any one of my largest ships can just fit in here with plenty of room to maneuver around and for a crew to get around. Let's see, what about the command center? What the hell, why not, right? Let's stick the command center in there. <laughs> yep. For as large as the command center is, it is pretty much dwarfed in comparison to this ship. Let's see about my freight shuttle. Oop. Huh, yep. The freight shuttle has no problem whatsoever fitting inside this thing. So, this thing also has connection points up here. I may stick one down here. And, I don't know, thinking maybe a holding arm that maybe swings down and locks a ship into place using pistons. Although, pistons aren't exactly the best things to use, especially like rotors for something to swing down and connect. I think I may hold off on that. I might, uh, yeah, I might actually build smaller ships with uh, landing gears and plenty of thrust to kind of hold a ship secure in case it's been immobilized or in case it's having trouble like all the thrusters on one side are damaged and it's kind of drifting about. I could probably do that pretty easily and it would actually uh, fit pretty well with this. But yeah, as far as construction, repair, resupply, this is pretty much the final word in the UNI fleet for all of that. Highly mobile, tough, with a full complement of repair and construction ships. Oh yeah, this thing is definitely 
something you want to have on your side. So yeah, once uh, this video is uploaded, I'll go ahead and post it up on the workshop for everyone to enjoy. Have a good one, I'll see you next time.